Hey guys, it's Megan. I'm popping in for our Tuesday tip of the week. One thing I've noticed in the uh, group, the Facebook groups recently is a lot of questions regarding uh, space maintainers. How do you bill for space maintainers? What codes do I use for a space maintainer and whatnot? So in our insurance masterclass, we have a bonus material that goes over how to verify space maintainers, how to submit for space maintainers and whatnot. Long story short, the codes that you want to use, they recently changed. So it used to be D1515 and you would submit that for either upper or lower. Now insurance companies, as of 2020, they want to know whether it's upper or lower. So you would do D1516 for an upper space maintainer and D1517 for a lower space maintainer. Those are the two codes you're going to want to use. Now the verification for that um, is definitely different than a regular verification. A lot of times space maintainers comes out of a preventative benefit for patients instead of the orthodontic benefit. So the benefit to the office to bill for a space maintainer as opposed to a phase one treatment is because it's going to come out of a preventative benefit, which is basically like a bottomless benefit to the patient because it's a preventative appliance as opposed to, you know, something that's once in a lifetime. So that's a great benefit to the patient. So you want to make sure that it comes, what, what category it comes out of, whether it's general dentistry, preventative, or ortho. Um, the next thing you want to always confirm is whether the patient has had any history of a space maintainer. A lot of times there's space maintainer um, clauses where if they've had a space maintainer before, they don't allow it and whatnot. So you want to be sure that they haven't had one. Um, lastly, you also want to confirm that there's no age restrictions for space maintainers. So with that said, a lot of times they have a uh, minimum age limits and maximum age limits. So a minimum age limit might be age eight. Whereas if you have a seven year old that you want to put a space maintainer on, the insurance isn't going to cover anything, right? So you want to know whether there's the minimum age limit. Sometimes it's eight years old. Sometimes there's not. Um, and whether there's a maximum. Generally, it's by 13 or 14 um, for a space maintainer. So uh, that is it for space maintainers. Um, and I hope this was helpful. We'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.